first. Excellent. Uh, thank you, Sean Kostov, for the great talk. Um, um, as someone whose uh, first language uh, was in English and speaks other languages, I think um, localization and internationalization is an, a very important topic um, that's near and dear to my heart. And especially when it comes to Emacs, I think um, there's a lot that we could do better. So um, yeah, thanks so much. Um, folks, uh, if you have questions, you can uh, po uh, post them on IRC on the pad and Jean Christophe will answer them. And we will also open up this big blue button for people who would like to um, join here and ask their questions directly. Jean Christophe, please take it away. Okay, thank you. Um, yes. I'm not seeing uh, much activity on, on IRC or all the, um, all the pads, so uh, let me add a, a few things. Um, First, it was uh, that patch was really interesting in terms of um, actually getting into the code and understanding um, how really can a beginner uh, join development, uh, even if it's just a few lines. Um, I mentioned in the first part of the uh, of the presentation that uh, there was this, uh, this small integration bug with a uh, Mac, uh, and that's the the thing that actually uh, got me started, and that was interesting because uh, at the time I was uh, trying to use Aquamax. Because because it looked simpler. Um, and I thought, okay, if I need to fix that, uh, rather than fixing it in Aquamax, maybe I should just, you know, go to Emacs and fix it there. So uh, that's that was my, the, the first attempt for me to, uh, to actually contribute something serious. And uh, it was really nice to, um, I mean, this Emacs development list is really amazing. Um, like 99% of the discussion is just way above your head, but sometimes you grasp, grasp something and, uh, and, and the more you grasp it, you know, the more you understand and the more you feel like you can actually do something, especially since, uh, I mean, as for all the free software development projects were in, or most of them, I guess, uh, it's really um, just do it uh, kind of thing. And if you try to do something, somebody's going to help you. Uh, and what I really uh, enjoy when uh, being there is that the people are always very nice. Uh, sometimes you feel some tension when there is a, there are discussions uh, about a specific topic, but it's everything. Everybody's really polite, and uh, I mean, ninety nine percent of the time. Um, and what I like the most is like all the people are very strong opinionated. So I mean, they have a very good idea of what Emacs should be or should not be, and so it gives you a, a very good idea of in what direction you should go. So um, that experience, I mean, pretty much those 2017, 2018 years were uh, until now, the peak of my Emacs activity. I've, I've had to, to quit a little bit that because uh, I was busy with other things, but I'm really planning to go back to um, working on maybe not localization because it's really, it's a bit too, too big for me right now. Um, and my, I mean, what I was told is that it involved um, a, a bit of C uh, programming and things like this. So, I'm, I'm not really into that right now, but um, I think eventually one day, uh, I'm, I just turned 53, so uh, I guess uh, in a few years from now when I have more time, uh, I guess I'll just dive in and just work on, on those localization issues uh, and really to, to bring Emacs to, um, to a different world because uh, I think it's uh, if we were able to have um, it's a big job. I mean, it's really amazing. I, I, if you check the threads uh, on dev, if you check my name, you'll see that I mostly post on, on uh, translation or localization issues, of, at least at the time. And uh, I did an estimate of, uh, of the vol sheer volume of strings to translate. For example, the, the manuals were about 2 million words. Um, that's big. That's big. So, um, uh, but it's it's okay. I mean, it's not something that's impossible. And if you check the strings, and my that was a really rough estimate. If you check the strings for um, for Emacs proper, not even talking about the packages and things, um, I think that would, that would add pro probably like uh, five hundred thousand words. Or I don't. I mean, I, don't, I have no idea. But my 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 very rough uh, estimate would be that. So it's not something that's impossible to do. Um, and we have to ensure that, you know, we have a good process for, for people who review the strings and contribute new strings and things like this. And also, uh, best practices, like, uh, like what I tried to show in this, um, in this video. And I was really not 
trying to be dismissive about the people who worked uh, on PackageL because they did a, a wonderful job at actually helping people like me access all those packages. So it's, I mean, the point of the video is not really to, uh, to dismiss the code, but um, I was kind of scared because uh, I'm, I was like, if they write codes like, code like this for strings, then what about the rest of the code? <laughs> Is it? <laughs> so it was kind of a, uh, I mean, something that I really can't evaluate, but um, I'm like, I mean, those guys are obviously are really smart and they're trying to, to make uh, intelligent things about uh, how they want to uh, factor their code, et cetera. But if they do that for, for strings, uh, which is quite simple, actually, uh, I mean, simple to, it's simple to mess up strings, you know? Um, so I was like, what about the rest of the code? Is it is it that uh, complex or that difficult to understand? And so that's kind of a, a put off for me. Um, like, I, I really don't want to try to uh, investigate that more because uh, plus it's not, it's really not my, my area at all. So anyway, that's what I wanted to add. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I think I pretty much agree with all of what you said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I have a question. Uh, I see a question on the pad. I use Emacs uh, on English, but my mother language is is Emacs. No, no, no. It's, okay. So the the answer is is that Emacs is not localized, and um, my understanding is that right now it's not localizable. Um, and um, those discussions took place um, about five, four or five years ago. So you check uh, on the dev list and you'll see the state of the, uh, the discussion because there is only a discussion at the moment. What I did for package L, um, I think it was really just a, a one time uh, attempt at fixing one package. Um, and I did check the other uh, a number of other packages in uh, in Core Emacs, uh, and not a lot of them uh, had. Uh, I mean, as far as I checked, and I really did not check everything. But basically, what you have to do is check all the um, all the functions that uh, impact strings, um, and some are really not user facing strings, so um, they're not really interesting for us. Um, and that, that's actually, that's really interesting to, to do that. Uh, so if you just take one list package, uh, list code and just, you know, go through the, the thing and just check uh, all the print one, print C, message, format, concat and stuff, uh, and just see uh, how it goes. So um, basically right now, there is no infrastructure to localize the thing. There is no process uh, to extract the strings um, and, uh, and there is no way to actually uh, import them back into the code. So um, what we can do right now is really just what I did, make sure that it's eventually possible one day. Um, and I, I, as I just shown, uh, it's really not, not such a big deal. Um, if you're very careful about understanding the, the, the way that the strings are handled, uh, it's just a few um, rewrites away. I mean, it's, it's really not much, so uh, there's, I mean, there's not a lot to be proud about in my in my patch, but um, but it was it was really fun, and I think it's a good it's a very good entry point for people like us. Uh, I suppose I mean I suppose the first person uh, uh, question. I mean I, I don't know maybe I'm I'm just I should not suppose that, but like people who really enjoy working in Emacs and just sometimes uh, would like to contribute something and are not. Um, programmers or anything, or maybe even programmers. I mean, I'm not excluding them. But uh, that's really a good way to, uh, to just, you know, start doing something. And eventually from there, uh, you can, I mean, you just use a package that uh, that you like, and that you think is important, and just, you know, check the strings and do things like this. And then eventually, you'll find other parts of the code that you want to improve, or add functions. Um, uh, so yeah, actually, that uh, the patch that I did, uh, this patch is actually the, in the process of um, of the thing that I started with Aquamax. So um, I did one little thing uh, regarding the, those servers that were not integ in, fully integrated in, in Mac OS. And then I did uh, something about a, a small function. I think I added the possibility to, uh, to add an option. Um, 
uh, I did um, documentation uh, improvement as well. So really just little things. And then the, the, the deeper you dive, the more interesting it gets. And then you find something that really, you really want to do. So just, you know, just use that entry point as, a, as a, you know, as a way to, uh, to have fun in Emacs. Um, Well, um, so I mentioned regex on strings. Um, well, it's not really a red flag for localization, but uh, the way it's used, um, I mean, I guess I guess there are ways to properly use it. Uh, and uh, but I think uh, really the basically um, using that means that. Uh, you're making assumptions on the way uh, a language is structured. And I did exactly the same uh, mistake uh, on a different project that I'm working on. Actually, I'm, I'm in charge of rewriting a manual and we were using DocBook and I just thought it would be smart to have automated uh, links to parts of the, of the, in the chapters, et cetera. And the thing is that depending on the language, you've got different ways to introduce chapters. So, um, um, like I should know that I should know that you should not uh, um, insert um, automatically insert strings in in code because you know it, it's going to produce something that can't be handled by um, by the translator. Um, but uh, so basically, uh, regex on strings is something that probably you might uh, you might use, but. Um, if you see, I mean, you, you can see the, the way it was used in the, in, in the original code. So if you see something like that, I mean, just just uh, don't run uh, and just fix the thing because there is no way this can be localized. Um, I mean, extracted properly and then localized. And that's the reason to why numbers are a big problem because, um, for example, in, in English, but in French too, we have only singular forms and plural forms. But some languages uh, have zero forms. Some languages have two forms like pair forms um some some languages don't have uh, a different form for anything for example i i live in japan i work in japanese uh and in japanese you don't have a form you, de you don't have different inflections for for words based on the on their number so saying one whatever or two whatevers or um an infinity of whatevers or even zero whatever it's just the same form so making assumption on the number of things uh, and the way it's expressed in the language um, is usually and that's something that we already know um in in free software i mean if you check the getx library uh they've got everything sorted out and that's uh, something that was created in the 90s uh, at uh, sun microsystem and then it was freed etc but uh, when you see the work that it did uh, at the time um, you would kind of expect that people understand that but no and that's that's okay because you know developers develop and localizers localize so you know we'll kind of split but um, everything has been done already so we just have to be aware of what's being done and we have to be aware of the rules. And uh, I think of one very good set of rules um, that's been online for a while. Uh, it's the um, Worldwide Consortium. They have a really good uh, internationalization page where everything is pretty much um, black on white on paper, on the web at least. Um, and if you read that, you can see exactly uh, what you sh what should be done for localization, what should not be done, uh, what should be avoided at all costs, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So um, there are plenty of references uh, here and there, and uh, in terms of software localization, it's the same. If you check the GetX page, um, you should be able to, uh, to to get an idea of what should be good. Uh, so is my project to uh, localize all of Emacs? I wish it were. Um, Eventually, you know, uh, I'll be rich. Um, hopefully, I don't know. I'm working on that. Uh, it's not working well. But uh, the day I can take just one year off, like totally, and focus on that, I would. I think I, that's something I would love to uh, to work on and just uh, get up to speed with the um, process of programming all the things, uh, checking all the things, and organizing the infrastructure. But seriously, I don't think that will ever happen because uh, I'm a poor um, translator and uh, I still have, what, like 20 years to go before um, before I, I can't work anymore. 
and we don't have savings or anything. So <laughs> with the corona shit that hell hit us. So um, I don't think that's ever going to happen. But uh, I would love to help. Uh, and yes, yes. Uh, how deep would uh, useful localization go? Because uh, the core of Emacs are dark strings and localization. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, that's uh, all those discussions have been um, made. Uh, I mean, no conclusion reached, but um, we uh, we have addressed those things on the discussions. And um, so just, I mean, it's really pretentious to say, I check my, check my name on the Emacs devil list because you know, that's, uh, I've, I've talked about that, you know, it's really pretentious, but uh, that, that's not what I'm saying. Um, I mean, there has been a lot of discussion on the on the development list. So if you check for localization, doc, uh, translation, stuff like that, you'll see keywords and you'll see the discussion. Um, and people are aware of the of the issues. So I mean, we just need to have a, a framework for that. Thank you. Just to quickly chime in to say, I think we have about two more minutes of on uh, on stream Q and A, and then you're all welcome to uh, either stay here, Jean Christophe, or uh, continue taking questions on the pad and IRC. Uh, I think, well, I got to go to work, uh, so I need to get ready, uh, but um, I think uh, unless we have something on IRC, um, uh, Let's see. I, I think, think I... we're good. If, if you find something else that I've not addressed, um, I'm, I'm good. Uh, otherwise, uh, yes, yes, yeah, we need to check all the C code. Um, but I mean, you you can decide uh, the level uh, down to which you want you want to work. So um, you 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 can go all the way to the C code. But actually, the C code is actually easier to extract because there is uh, all these gitx things that you, that work that works on the C code already. So the issue is, is pretty much the uh, Emacs Lisp code, as far as I can understand. So. Um, that would be the process that we need to uh, to, to address. Uh, doc, doc strings, indeed. Um, but then the doc strings and the manual, uh, they are uh, very close. Uh, so, and actually, yeah, my estimate of the uh, of the 500,000 word, I think it was based on doc strings. Um, so yeah, we need to check all that. Uh, and that's an on ongoing project that's uh, not going to go away anyway. So uh, we'll be here 10 years from now, I'm sure. Okay, cool. And yeah, I think that's about all the time that we have on the stream. Um, I guess if folks have further questions, they could maybe reach out to you later on on IRC yeah, or via email. Definitely. Mm. And awesome. I'll be back on, on the development list uh, shortly, maybe six months from now. So uh, yeah, I can I can take it from there. Sounds great. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, thanks again uh, for your great talk. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, bye.